Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to another edition of Dr. John Show on Triple X Radio. I'm going to be your host for the next uh, 30 minutes or so. Dr. John, it's 5 in the morning. It is November 1st, 2013. New headlines coming on CNN saying that Joe Biden was very near being replaced and possibly Bill Clinton coming in as vice president during the Obama administration. We're going to be going over world headlines. We're also going to be going over the magazine and my absence, as it were, from uh, Triple X Radio and uh, Adult Entertainment and everything else. So, hey, it's been a while, a couple of weeks since uh, I've been getting on, months rather, probably. And uh, I just want to take some time today to kind of touch base on why there's people out there that contact me and they support the show and they want to know what's going on. And I said, you know, just as soon as I can possibly get on and, you know, give people an explanation, then, then that's absolutely what I'm going to do. And uh, so, here you go. I, uh, as many people know, struggle with several different medical issues. Some are on my blog, some of them aren't. And uh, they caught up with me big time. And uh, the most severe left me without vision for several months. For other words, after that, it was just an overall weak feeling where... um, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. just didn't have energy for anything. Not that, you know, it's just, it gets to be a lot to do with uh, day-to-day life and get on here. And there's a lot of drama on uh, BTR for quite a while as well. And I had personal things that I'm going to be getting into today, um, one of which was some relationship issues. And those have hit me kind of hard, and I was dealing with those. So, emotionally and medically, I've been butt kicked for a while. I plan on coming back on uh, starting this week, actually, for some upbeat, positive, entertaining shows. You know, after we deleted the YouTube videos, we had lost 5,000 hits or so over there on YouTube because we weren't aware if you delete content you lose the views. We thought it was just kind of a running total of everything we ever had out. And uh, needless to say, now we're edging back up towards 17,000, which is nice. <laughs> but it sucks because we lost everything we've done before. And, um, you know, this is there to say. As far as amazing goes, the featured article this month is uh, 30 Days Undercover. You're not going to be able to get into that unless you're a member. And uh, But if you're a member or not, don't worry, we're going to get into that today. It's one of the things on my uh, to-do list here. And as the magazine goes, its name and destination has changed as well. It is now xxx-magazine.com. There's Google XXX Magazine, like number three. And you will find your way. You'll see right now there's a under construction thing going on for the next six days. There's some work we're going to do over there. The article right before that is, uh, <laughs> ironically enough, love, attraction, science, and myths, and the unexplained. Man, only people knew how ironic it was with that one up when it did. Oh boy. If you're out there and it's early morning and you want to talk about anything, get off your chest, whether it's baseball and uh, the Boston Sox winning it or uh, whatever, call in 323-693-3840. This is going to be a music-free edition of the 30 Minutes. Some weird calls came into you. I documented one of them with uh, the caller's permission. We hopped off and 
did go on uh, a Skype interview thing, and uh, you'll find that article at Triple X Magazine as well, called Lot Wizard. <laughs> and uh, I was talking to the person, the client, and as the call was progressing, I was like, you know what? Why don't we make this a free call? And I'll just do an interview and because you're saying you, you don't want a sexual call anyway. And that, that works for both of us. And uh, she just started going into how she was a transsexual and worked as a lot lizard or a, a prostitute at different truck stops and you can read that whole interview over there. And then the other guy that I was interviewing for a different article, The Love and Attraction Science and Myth, he put on a mask and started like re inhaling methamphetamines through his mask. And uh, I'm set up to talk to him again this weekend. But boy, people, at least in my opinion, are getting more extreme with the things they're trying and relation to to drugs and making sure they can get a high, which might beg the question what they're trying to escape from. This uh, season, season three, is still a Creative Commons project. You're going to find a lot of uh, collaboration. You're going to find uh, the buttons for membership removed throughout the magazine. They're only on the opposite end but you won't find them on the magazine. They've been removed. Um, Because during season three, pretty much um, domain fees, or I should say anything domain fees, is going to be donated to charity. We're not trying to make any money off of it. It's kind of the normal, to tell you the truth, because it isn't uh, free to get all the hosting. All right, so it's five oh seven in the morning. I got you some of the headlines out there about Obama considering dubbing Biden. It seems like in some instances he'll do just about anything to get the focus off of him these days. So, um, you know, if the guy's still there, I don't see what relevance it has, but whatever he wants to say, right? Let's check out this intro again. That's pretty cool. password you can't get into it. And because we removed 
basically all the monetary stuff this uh, season. I wouldn't even be able to tell you how to get a membership because the button's not up. So that pause is me pulling up the article for you. I'm going to log in to get it. All right, so it talks about going 30 days undercover as a cash laborer. And I think what struck me to try and do this assignment was always hearing and seeing people kind of poke fun and and make fun of uh, immigrants and people who do cash labor. I do want to just preface this by saying it wasn't 30 days consecutive of, of labor. That's just when the undercover assignment ran. It ran for 30 days. But don't worry, I ended up getting my ass handed to me. So it talks about first day we put local ads up in search of daily labor jobs. And it goes on to talk about <laughs> the people's names that were changed for anonymity. So uh, the first one, Babu, go to his house and he, he opens the garage door and first asks if am I working in the pouring rain. I'm like, no, it's fine. I don't mind wearing. Has me clean those furniture and load it. And then throughout the day, it was just increasingly becoming more of a slave driver. And then he had this little freak out in his house where he was actually yelling at someone and screaming. And I don't want to get into much graphic detail, but it really sounded like he was enjoying screaming at the person. And I'll just leave it at that. So I was doing trimming and hedging and yard work and furniture. And I'm sweating my ass off and he's dying because there's no breaks. And... He just kept amending the tasks and adding things, and and, and you know that's fine because you're there to work. I get that. It's a really shitty way to pay. And um, jumping in the head a little bit, I go to give him his receipt at the end and made sure he was happy with the work or whatever, and of course he is because he had to order me around like a slave driver. And he's like, no, 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 no receipt because... <clears throat> you know, Uncle Sam doesn't know what hurt him, and I said, no, that's not how I go on paying taxes. You do what you want with the receipt, but I'm paying on it. And it's chuckle, like, um, but the I'm better than you chuckle. So it's kind of hilarious considering the house wasn't his, the stuff wasn't his. He was, I guess, asked to help by his brother or something and pawn the work off on me, which is fine. It was, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was a 7 good on the good side as far as, like, how bad things got. I anticipate this this article is going to open and not be locked sometime next week when it's done. Uh, it's not done right now. So that's why it's members only because it's just like a preview copy. So let me just go into... <laughs> it like a a really brief overview of that one. All right. So I'm pulling up the second page here and I talked about the house of hell and this is where things really turned bad and I was going to work for the person and he kept um, just being really cheap on everything like I'll give you two hours pay but you have to caulk the entire house with caulking like sealing it and everything and so the first time he ever did a bed I was like cool whatever and did part of it, and it didn't turn out to be the entire house. It was like one room or whatever. And then finally I said, you know, I can't do this piecemeal because you're bidding two hours. Same job. It's going to take two hours, and it's taking way, way longer than that. I'm trying to figure out why this room just closed. Hmm. Give me a second. So I'll give you a listen to Listening to the recording, the chat room is closed. And uh, I'm trying to figure out why. Alright, so um, then finally, on like the third or fourth or whatever day it was of, of coming back, he accepted a bid, 
had me work the bed for half the time. My project wasn't even due yet, which I'm paying. I had come over previously, never had a problem with any of the work. But days before it does even do, I'll change the bed, I'll pay you half, and then you can just finish X, Y, and Z. Well, he didn't, up, didn't end up paying half at all, not anywhere near there. And the article will be interesting because it just, it'll talk about how it's a cash labor, and this is why I went to do the article, how the mercy of those people. It's nothing you can do. There's no OSHA. There's you know, no labor department. You're on your own. Sure, you could go to small claims court, spend a hundred bucks, try and win. But in certain instances, I just I don't think it would do much good. So that's that. My whole article will, and it'll be out on. Uh, give it a week, and it'll be unlocked and open. You'll be able to see it. Getting down other. The other one's talking about a missile, a missile storage site that was hit. We've got a newsroom up too at uh, the gigapig.com. Click on the tab on the right that says newsroom. But I'm not getting any more information. It's like a news blip and the story's not finished. Maybe there's an update, and hopefully this will uh, satisfy some of the clients and then contact you and asking what's up with everything. You know, initially, so things were were so bad that I just sent out a letter saying I don't know if it's going to come back on for the people who were members, but keep pushing, right? I don't know if there's a tech issue or what it is, but the arm's definitely down, the other one's up. Hope everybody had a good Halloween and got, and got to go in a one costume. I tweeted some pictures at the Dr. John of a uh, 50 years costume that I got, and then ended up doing absolutely nothing with it, other than taking some pictures for magazine and they flirt. I think I like the quiet on here though. It's definitely better than all the drama they used to be. But anyway, I guess I'll be the same way I did with the uh intro. And I'll see you tonight at the regular time at two AM and we'll get into it. Alright everybody, take care.